it's Wednesday. It's 1022. Oil, a little bit of volatility so far this morning. We're trading the February contract at $60.40. We'll pull up the contracts for crude. And let's quickly take a look at, we have 60.50 with an option. And let's jump back. I'm going to jump back and see what we're expecting here. All right. Yeah. We'll go into our DLCO for global commodities. Oh, I think that's right. Will they change it again? One second. Uh, no, it's there. Yeah. Bloomberg's taking his sweet time this morning. There we go. Uh, all right. Crude oil, year to date, up 33%. Not a bad trade. We'll get into the whisper. We'll find our crude number. And the market is expecting a decline between about 1.7 and 1.4 million barrels. All right. Uh, I think we have plenty of crew. That's okay. going to be my fundamental take, no matter where we go. So with that in mind, we're only going to go for a decline of 700. That makes sense? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, no, that makes sense. That would make right, sense. That would make sense. All right, so there's going to be a little bit more oil than that's, the market that, might exactly. expect. It. That's right, that's right. We're going to get up on our rank. We're number seven, now we're number 36. That's why I want to put it in, because they make yeah. you put these. So the whisper right. number is the Bloomberg Turnable Whisper survey right. number, median analyst estimate, jumping back to the charts of where we are right now. So you have the contract trading at $60.38. See what kind of volatility. I'm just going to jump right to the noons and see how they factor out. Ah, that doesn't have That has 60.25. You're 15 pennies away. Let's jump the, uh, to the 230, see if we can get a 60.50. Here we go. So $60.50. We got $3 to the upside, and we have exposure till 230. All right, let's see what kind of volatility they're going to make us, premium they're going to make us pay for for this uh, trade. Getting in on the bullish side, you're going to be able to buy it at 60.70. Now the contract's trading at 60.37. It's just trading at 60.40, so you're buying it almost 30 pennies above the market. Yeah. But you're only risking twenty dollars. Not bad. Your profits are your risks cut at sixty fifty. You have profit potential up to sixty three fifty, and pretty similar trade on the bear side. Three dollar potential. Now in this one, you're going to have about ten to twelve pennies of intrinsic value in there. You would be selling this contract, and that one's going to run you pretty comparatively. The only difference in these two contracts is the intrinsic value that you have on the bearish side because it's under that sixty fifty point. We're going to $52, which is about 52 pennies. Not that bad for a market that's jumping around. With keeping in mind, you have $3 of potential, and you have exposure until 2.30. Right. And it, it seems, not that $60 is a magic number, but bottom line, has had a hard time cutting through the $60. So, yeah, it's been hanging you know, out there for a little right, while. Right. It, it has. Yeah, you can get a make or break. Oh, this is cool. Mr. Bill told us, okay, API reported a build of 4.7 million. Maybe I should go revise Whoa, that uh, guess to a build cow. versus... Thanks, Bill. So, yeah. That's crazy. That is crazy. So uh, the numbers are locked in. This is skewed, man. We're at a, we're at a decline uh, of 700,000. The market looking for a decline of 1.7 to 1.4. But it's always interesting when the API is so far away from what the yes. analyst estimates are looking for in that number. Seven S&Ps uh, are up. One and crude. What do we got here? Crude fell 1.09 million mm. barrels. That's so under the analyst estimate, yeah. above where we kind of put it, but still a decline in the inventories. And gas, as before we jump around, pretty much pegged it as well, an increase of about 2.5 million barrels. Jumping back to the charts, seeing how that market is reacting right away. A little bit of a pop, man. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Right up to $60.70. Um, Quick 20, We have more oil. Cents. No, that's it's the other way, isn't it? Right? It, it's a, it's a, it's a less of a decline. Yep. So the there's more of a supply than the market may have thought. Right. And right. usually that would mean lower prices because you're the market's flooded with supply. People might pay a cheaper price if there's more supply. Uh, so maybe the market was kind of hinting towards, uh, like Mr. Bill was saying in that den with uh, the API coming in at 4.7 million barrels. Market saying, oh, we still got a decline, man. And, uh, boy, we might see $61 crude so in a matter of seconds right yeah, now. Yeah, 60, like 60.87. 60, 60.87, like that's right. And uh, the contracts we were looking for had a pivot point of about $60.50. So just kind of line up. This would have been your bullish spread, right? They were going to cost us about $52. Now, what's always interesting here is here's the bullish spread. You could always, if you wanted to, 
close out that trade, take your take your forty dollars right off the table. You're still in it for about nine bucks. Okay. If you really felt that was going to pull back, yeah, this contract stays active. And what's really cool here, just keeping even with the bid offer spread, which is why this is a cool trade. You could close this out right now almost and, and, and get your money back if you didn't like what happened. You know, you're That's looking for a bigger, I mean, right. there's still, you know right. what I mean? You could look at bullish sides, 45, bear sides, five, $50. You're paying some commission, so you, yeah, right. you lose a couple bucks. But um, just cool to keep in mind there, you know, maybe you're playing that just for a huge miss. Maybe you're playing it saying, you know what, man, I think API, I think it's going to come in with a build of like 4 million barrels. And you go, ah, it didn't quite come in where I thought it would. Right. But boom, as we speak, $61 in the price of February crude, man. Uh, and I think the day, let's just the Saudis are popping, uh, popping some champagne oh, yeah. at the Aramco offices this morning. No, no <laughs> doubt. You know, and they got that to $2 trillion too, the, yesterday. It might be higher with $61 yeah, crude this morning. Exactly. Yeah. And now this is going to be a delayed quote, folks. I just yeah. want to see what the high was of that day. 61.48. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, 61.48 was the high of the Saudi blow up. Okay. Uh, and to be fair, that yeah. is the market open. I believe overnight that yeah. spiked to 62.63 okay. even um, okay. before that opened on that day. Okay. Yeah. It's a Very short-lived high, though. Oh, Very yeah. short-lived. Uh, no the Saudi fields got attacked. Market market spiked, and then everybody said, "Hey, man, we got plenty of oil, no matter what." No doubt. No. Yeah. And the XLE is not not following it. The, you know, you're up a few pennies, but the XLE in general uh, just is still a laggard out here. Just checking back real quick because it's going to move. Strong. Yeah. Sixty one, sixty one bucks on the dot. We'll see where we we'll check back in throughout the hour.